So over a million people a year have what's called a coronary angiogram or cardiac cath. This is where we take a very small plastic tube and usually insert it from the leg up to the arteries of the heart. Once we're there, we can actually look at the arteries and see whether or not there are blockages, whether or not the arteries are open, and make decisions whether or not someone needs a stent or someone needs surgery or someone just needs medicines. Um, when coronary angiography was first started, they actually used to go in through the arm, but over the years, it became easier for doctors to go in through the leg. There's been a resurgence using some new technology of, instead of going through the leg, going through the wrist, which for patients is much more convenient, much more comfortable, and in recent studies actually reduces the chance of having a life-threatening bleed after a coronary intervention or coronary angiogram. The good news is that there's two arteries that feed the hand, one on the right side and one on the left, and so we can actually use one of the arteries to get to the arteries of the heart. Once we're there, we can inject contrast just like you would through a femoral angiogram and visualize the coronary, um, coronary arteries, and if a blockage is there, actually in a, insert a stent through the same tube that we've done the diagnostic angiogram. For patients, they find that they can ambulate quicker, there's less pain, and there's actually a lot less chance of having a life-threatening bleed, and so it seems to work out better for everybody. Um, this is something that we've started doing more and more at Baylor University Medical Center, and for patients who've had the procedure both ways, they seem to prefer the angiogram through the wrist than they do through the leg. When I've seen patients in follow-up, they usually show me the area where they had the heart catheterization, and as opposed to some patients who've had a lot of bruising and a lot of pain, there's usually very little, uh, very little mark or very small mark, very little uh, pain in the area, and in some cases they can't even tell where they've had the angiogram. A coronary angiography from the wrist isn't being done everywhere, and it's not being done by uh, every interventionalist. So you should ask your doctor if they can or are able to do coronary interventions through the wrist. There's no difference in cost when it comes to doing angiography from the wrist, but there is some specialized equipment that needs to be used. So not all hospitals are doing this and not all uh, cardiologists are doing this type of procedure.